Hi, this is Rob from SeeHowToDoIt.com. Before we start, we'd like to thank you for watching. We'd also like to ask you to please like, subscribe, and share on social media, and visit us at SeeHowToDoIt.com. Today we're going to show you how to replace the water float valve on a Bonaire window unit. Let's get started. First, you're going to get started by removing all the screws. In this particular model, there'll be four screws that hold on the cover which I've already removed. There'll be one over here. You can see the hole right there. And there's also one over here. You can see it there. And then on the bottom, there'll be one over here you'll remove and one over here. Then we'll be able to pop off the cover. And pretty much, this, this should be very similar on almost any Bonaire window unit. This is our water float right over here. And we're changing this pretty much just for instructional purposes to show you how to do it. Okay, we're gonna begin by removing our nut. And on this particular model, it's an 11 16 and it is a little bit recessed in, so you might not be able to fit in a socket. So you might have to go ahead and loosen it with a needle nose first. Be very careful not to pinch your fingers. So we'll go ahead and loosen it just a little bit here. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and do the rest of that socket. Now it should be loose enough. We'll go ahead and remove our nut here. And then we have a collar that we need to remove over here. So you're going to be very careful, take a flat blade screwdriver and go ahead and pry around it, not to break it because you're going to want to reuse this. Okay, now we're able to slip that off. We'll go ahead and slip out our float. And now we're ready to install the new one. Here's our new float. We're gonna go ahead and remove the nut. Then we're gonna go ahead and slip the float in there. Move the camera a little back here. First, we'll go ahead and slip on our collar right over here. We'll hold it back here. Then we'll go ahead and put on our nut. Go ahead and tighten it down. And you want to go about a quarter turn past where it gets tight. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and connect our supply line. Get a hand tight and then we'll give it about a quarter of a turn past that, holding it back here. And now we're ready to start filling it up. Now you can see it's starting to fill up and uh, space in this particular model is tight. So you're going to want to go ahead and turn this a little bit sideways over here so the float is free of the plastic. That way it won't get stuck. And you're going to want to fill up the cooler just to blow the level of the overflow, which you'll see some waterline marks. We're going to let it go a little bit. And on some floats, you might have a, an adjustment screw over here or a bolt that you'll be able to loosen and then go up or down in this. This particular model only has a pin on it, so we're going to go ahead and bend this bar as needed once it fills up more. All right, it has stopped filling up. Uh, it might be a little bit hard to see. It is way down over here, so we definitely need more water. So we're going to go ahead and bend the float just a little bit up. Remember, only do a little bit at a time because you could always go back and bend it more. So we'll go ahead and grab it over here and just bend up just a little bit. And you can see it's filling up. We'll let it fill up a little bit more and see where it stops. Okay, we're going to have to bend it a little bit more because it's about halfway with the overflow. So we'll go ahead and hold it back here and bend up on it just a little bit more. And we'll let it fill up some more and see where it's at now. Alright, now we pretty much have a good level. It's just a little bit below the overflow. You want it pretty high up because once the pump turns on and starts filling up the media, the water level is going to drop. Then the float will fill it back up higher. And you don't want to have too much water in here because when you shut off the swamp cooler, when all the water comes off of the media, it could possibly overflow here. So we're not going to go any higher than this. This is good. So now we're ready to put the swamp cooler back together. There is one tip we want to show you here. 
This is our supply line from our pump for our distributors. A lot of times this hose will drop down a little bit. So when you go to put on the cover, it won't make proper contact with the distributors. So when you turn it on, water will be spraying everywhere. So you wanna go ahead with this hose, go ahead and pull it up. And now we're ready to put on our cover. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab the cover. And sometimes this can be a little bit of work. You wanna go ahead and put it on in front here. Gently slip it down. Be very careful not to get your fingers caught. We'll go ahead and make sure it's seated and we'll show you the other side. You're going to want to make sure the top is all the way seated across here. If there's any large gaps, that means you don't have the cover on, so you might have to pull it back off and possibly re pull up on the hose again and reseat it. And now, ready to go ahead and put it back in our screws in the bottom. You'll have one hair, one hair. And on the top, you'll have a screw that needs to go in the hole right over here and right over here. And that's pretty much about it. Once again, we'd like to thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share on social media. And visit us at seehowtodoit.com. Thank you.